Good day, and well, there, your trucks are host, Racer, we're here to power present you our fourth installment of our 22's Easter Spring Tricks videos. So what is it we have in this one, as it is, this here is part one of two. Here we got is seven tricks within our part one. And without any further ado, let's get those icons off of me, and let's hop right into them. We're just taking hippity hop right into them. So what are we hip uh, hippity hop into? As is, we're going to hop to our trick number one. And that goes to the magic hand floating Easter egg. That's a trick. Here's what this will float like. Check out this Easter egg right here. What I could do. I can just make it to actually float. Whoa. Okay. Check this out. I'll hold it to a little bit here. So how did I do the two flotations? As is about to reveal the floating sick to you right now. Here's what you need for this one. And just like the uh, Easter rabbit, I hop right to the fixed table. <laughs> okay, so here is what you will be needing. You will be needing an Easter egg. Any Easter egg will do. Or it could be something that looks nice and upbeat like. That's this um, um, purple, light and purple, and dark instead here. Like that goes great as well, too. This is a cover. I'm going to. Uh, Open it up, and you will be needing is this green pipe cleaner. And you're going to is put in a circle to it that will actually fit onto your middle finger, ring finger, or pointer. Like this. What you're going to do here is uh, take the two ends of this. And close it into your Easter egg just like this. It's very, very simple. To so just give it a close just like this. And so now they got closed in just like this. You are good to go. Just place it onto your pointer finger just like that. And you can just easily adjust it. And then you can put it into your palm, palm of your hand. Like this. Like that. You can, you can do it by your thumb. Or you can do it by that too. So here I'll put it onto my thumb. Like this. So I can go like this. You just lift your pointer finger or your thumb go up like that so you have the egg already inside there you can actually uh, come out, out holding the egg just like this and then just go open be very very slow like that and by magic it begins to float from your palm up like that now, the other way you do the flotation is extending it like this. Hold. Like this. Let go very gently and having it to stay like this. Or like this. Just 
just like that. Okay, you can also put an empty hand here. You can be, just be just be creative and get a, a good um float uh, floating to happen. You can also do that, move it out, and catch it just like that. So any flotation would work with this. Use your imagination with this as well. Too. There it gets your Easter egg in there, as well as the thing that likes to be uh, full of upbeat that rises, but the levitation of the Easter egg. Very Easterific. And that right there is how you do the magic trick to the magic hand flowing Easter egg magic trick. It's very simple, very straightforward, but yet very uplifting because of the levitating. So, what are we going to get into next? Got to our trick number two. That goes to the magic egg and ball magic trick. Here's what this will look like. And here I got all these uh, two red balls you see right here. And I actually place one in my hand right there. And I'll place the other in the hand as well, too. We'll see what that does. Whoa! The second ball turned itself into an egg. And all is left is only one. So how did I, I do this one? As is about to reveal the secrets. This one here will definitely surprise everyone with this one is what you'll need to pull this amazing Easterific magic trick. Okay, so here is what you will be needing for this magic trick. And that is what you'll see. Let's see here. At the tricks table. Two red spun balls. Small or big. Here is any small guys. Then you'll be Meaning is an Easter egg or a craft egg. You can paint it any color you want. Here, I chose was the yellow. What is fun? What you're going to do is make a hole in the back for a console to fit in a sponge ball into here, just like this. Just like that. What you want to do is conceal. This egg, just like this. So holding on to one ball like this. Hold on to the other one just like this. What you're gonna do is transfer the egg in like this, and then place the first ball into your fist like this, into the egg part like this. Like that. Take the other ball. This. Make sure you keep your fist to hide the egg now, and place the other red ball here yeah, like this. Snap your, your fingers, and by magic, the one ball turns into an egg, and all that's left is only one ball aside from the egg. You see, just here. So it's done. Let's put out. Just like that. Now, if you want to um, take a look at this, make sure you're sure you have a duplicate so you can swap this one for a full one. That way, they can take a look at that and the ball. Makes a very excellent abstract that you, you could do for Easter spring. And that right there is how you do the magic. Egg and ball magic trick. Bring us down to the next one we get to. But 
to our troop number. One, two, three. Check three. Goes to the Easter Koa egg trick. Is what this Easter Koa egg will look like. And over here, I'll show you what I have. I got this nice stuffed Easter egg right here. And I have is, um, Sorry, cola. You see this right here. I'm gonna actually do something very, very magical with this and the egg. It's gonna hold this like this and the egg like this. Watch one, two. By magic, I put it right into the cherry cola can. How am I going to get this out? Watch. Are you ready? By magic, I get right back out of the cherry co cola can. So how did I do this one? As it is about to reveal the secrets. Here's what you'll need to pull this one off. That's what you'll see just right here. And that is an Easter egg cover. Any color will do, but here I'm using is my light pink with white speckles on here. On this one. Then you'll be beginning is a cola can or anything nice in particular, like this uh, cherry uh, a cola one here. What you'll need to do is make it into a shell. Give the back a cut, uh, a cut, get like a shell just like this, or a circle. What you're going to do is hold it just like this, so no one sees the hole that you made or the console, like this. And then you're going to use the egg like this, and you're going to actually put it in like this. And then to fall out, it just rolls out just like this. That's all that it is, and that's all how it works. It's very simple and very straightforward. Because all you're going to do is get rid of this and go one, two, three, like this. Then send it right into the cola bottle. You can put it into your hand or your fist, or you can do that onto a table. You go like this. Like that. That's how you do the magic trick to it. It's a very simple one, because there it gets your, your Easter egg in there, and the cherry cola can, you see, this right here. There brings another sweet magic trick that you could do that would definitely amaze everyone with that one. And I know how that magic trick is done. Give it up for the Easter Cola Egg trick. Bring us down to our next one we get to. To our trick number, what comes after three is four. That goes to the Easter's The Magic Banishing Ball to the egg magic trick. Is what this ball to the egg magic trick will look like. Okay, so here I have a fixed table. I come to see. I've got a ball here. And I got this. Easter egg, egg right here, you see? That is has completely empty here. And I uh, got is just this. You know, give this an open. Like that. Okay. So I can just this a close, just like this. Like that. Okay, 
I'll place this out front, and we'll use this. Okay? We're gonna actually just make this vanish by the use of the egg. Exactly. So then we're coming close, and you'll see what will happen with the magic of this Easter egg right here. We have it on this magic farm. This ball, you see, is the earth upholding. Okay, so here, let's see if I have just like this. Okay, so it's inside like this right here, still. And I'm gonna actually use this egg here and um, wave over like this. Right? Are you ready? Make a vanish. And see what that did as I did that. Whoa. That is made its way in the egg. That was very excellent. <laughs> so how did I get the ball to vanish and end up in the egg? As it is about to reveal. The secret is in here, but definitely surprise everyone with this one. Here is what you will be needing. And as we'll see here, one sponge ball. But one, we get two. Two of sponge balls. Then you'll be needing is another Easter egg covering. Here. Like that. You're going to is conceal one into your hand like this. First. Because you're going to is so the two. The one responsible and the egg like this. It's in hand with the one inside there. Going to is I've shown them off. Open the cover egg just like this. As now you pass this into your hand like this to show this one can hand completely empty. And just put the ball into the half right there and place it in, in there and give the egg covering a close like that. That way now your hands stay clear. Vanishing of this is very simple. Put it in your hand like this and take the egg out as this now goes into your lap very quickly. I'll show you here. Like that. And you can wave over like this. It's not there. But you're gonna wave and you're going to send it out like this. Like that. That magic, it bashes, but then it ends up in the egg. So when it's done, let's take out the ball from the egg and so. Makes it another very excellent magic trick that you could do that will definitely Impress everyone with that one. And that right there is how you do the magic vanishing ball to the egg magic trick. Here now we get down to our magic trick number one, two, three, four, five. Trick five goes to the magic mini egg unicorn deck magic trick. It's with this. Mini egg unicorn deck. What it look like? Here's the performance. Alrighty, all eyes to the tricks table. Let's see what the magic trick is all about. So here is it going to be a sweet one. And that is what you'll see this right down here. We got a unicorn card deck. A rabbit, a rabbit clip, and the guy is an opened mini egg pa a pack. You see, just just right here. What you're going to do is a magic with what you see just right here. That 
I'm going to show you a card from the deck right here. Okay. That. Okay. You can see you can see this at this right here. I don't think it is the King of Diamonds. Okay. I'm going to is put place that my uh, card there. I'm going to take that same card here. We're going to actually put it into the uh, mini egg pack just like this. That I'm going to actually put in like that and I'll use this. I close it in there. Okay. Watch this. You'll see something very sweet taking place. Now you can see that I put the king into here. Then what is this? Wow, sweet as mini eggs. It made a sweet escape. So how did I do this one? As is but to reveal the secrets is what you need to make mini egg and unicorn card deck magic. And that is what you will see here. Pack out mini eggs opened. Then you will need is this uh, clip. It's a bunny clip. See this just right here? And what we'll be needing is uh, the unicorn bicycle card deck, you see? Just right here. What you want to do in preparation of the deck is very, very simple. Go find a nice uh, color card. I'll come over here. So you can see the cards all like this. Like that. So find any card that you would like from here. Okay, so here. Say we will get the um Jack of Hearts, you see just right here. Okay, so you'll we'll use that. And then square the deck up. Okay. And um, make sure you find this, any like, random r random, r random card from the deck. You don't need to uh, prep that prop there. But you're going to is take this and place the card that, that you picked. Or that do, or what well, they've picked, and place this over it just like this. And pl place it onto the top of the deck like this. That is what you'll need to do. What you're going to do is, is first show the mini eggs coming out like that. Into your hands, you can see the mini eggs coming out. Put it back, uh, back in, just like that. And then just take the uh, top, the, the, the top card with the other card like this, like this, and show the card off first like that. And then you're gonna place this down. As you take the top card off like this, this will act as that one, as that same card. Keep this one face down, because it's this way here, on top of this one here, like that. This now will go in like this. What you're going to do is hide in the back like that. So we're going to put it in like this. And then just dish this off to the end of the table like this. 
and then just use the clip and give it a close just like this. Like that. So what they're seeing is that car that they see is now inside here. But it's not. What you're going to is snap your fingers with the magical fingers or you can use um, an egg and go like this. Tap on there if you want to or tap on the deck. Like that. After that is done, take the top, the top card and I'll flip it like this. By magic, it makes a sweet escape. To know that made a sweet escape, very simple. Just to take off the clip and dump out the mini eggs onto the table, just like that. So, the sweet escape. There, and get your um, your um, Easter egg involved. If you wanted to have that as a magic thing, the um, mini eggs to go with it, and a curse, the star, the unicorn card deck. You see, just right here, making this one a very epic card and mini egg magic trick. And that right there is how you do the magic trick to the magic mini egg unicorn deck magic trick. Bring us down to our next one we get to, but to our sixth one on our fourth episode. Again, thank you guys so much for watching our summons one through three. Coming up after this one will be our part two. And after part two, we'll be going on to our fifth installment after that one is done. Anyways, let's carry on to this one here, to the sixth one. That is to the magic ball to the egg cup magic trick. Here's what this will look like. Okay, so here I got is a nice cup here. Take a look with me inside. And all I got is this red sponge ball. Okay? Now, actually, this is going to be a magical with this. And change the ball into something completely Easterific with this cup you see just right here. Okay, so as you can see, here is the ball here, like that. I'm going to actually is um make it and change it into an egg whoa and that was by used by a rainbow whistic looking e Easter cup So how did I do this one? As is about to reveal the secrets. Here's what you'll need for this. For this, you will be needing is what you'll see right here. What you'll be needing is an Easter egg covering. You see just to see here. Red right sponge ball and a, um, a rainbow cup. And you can put some nice uh, stickers onto it. Got a nice uh gold um, flower on here and the flower pot right there with an egg you see right there and a flower on the side it's very really nice so what you're going to do is have this into your lap so you're going to start this off into your lap just like this so, so that's what you'll do. 
First is have this into your lap, just like this. Secondly, is have the uh, your red sponge ball out and the cup, just like this. What you're going to do is show the cup completely empty, and then show the ball. And as you, you do that, you actually collect the egg like this and put it into your hand like this very quickly. Because you're going to is with the cup, you're going to go over here like this as you put it in like this. This will just be a side dress like this. Now we're going to palm this off and it gives this a ditch into your lap. And then pick the cup, the cup up just like this. That's what you are, are doing in this magic trick. So it'll come out a little something like this. Like this. Go. that just like that and that magic the ball turns into an egg you see just right here a use of a rainbowistic looking Easter cup you see just right here and that right there's so you do the magic trick to that one give it up for the magic ball to a cup magic trick. Bring us down to our next one, but to our, our last one on part one. And on part two, we're going up from one to eight, completing it up to what? 15. So here is the seventh one on our part one. It goes to the magic egg rub magic trick. Is what this egg rub magic trick will look like. So here I come to the Easter basket. As the light got a little bit brighter over here, got lots of magic over here in the water. Got a little bit better because it is. I got this Easter basket full of eggs and other. And here I got one that's just right here. It actually is a red Easter egg. See what I can do about this. So here it is. I got this this red Easter egg right here, right? Now if I, I can actually is give this a rub like this. Watch this. By magic. The egg. That I just rub my hand turns into this ginormous ball. So how did I do this? As is, I would reveal the secrets. All you'll be needing is this glowing ball. Seems to here. It has a hole. I'll come on close over here so you can see. It has a hole here. Gonna actually, let's go in and go like this. It goes into an egg shape like this when it's in like this like that make sure you pack it in like this in the shape of an egg and you're gonna place this into an Easter basket with all the rest of the eggs like this just like all over here so it looks just like that now it's one with the Easter eggs in the basket. So once you see that uh, red Easter egg in the in the basket, you're good to go. You all know it's a regular Easter egg because it's one of the eggs in the basket right here. You're going to is take, take like the one, that one, just like this, pulling it as it would to an egg. 
exactly just like this, right? What you're going to do is you're going to give this a rub as you use your thumb to uh, push it out like this. Rub like this, and it turns into a ball. <laughs> so there gets um, egged ball, basically. After being an egg in a basket with the east, with the uh, e with the Easter eggs and chocolates, and now it just become a ginormous ball in your hand. After you give it a rub, the Easter egg rub, and then it turns into this. It's a very straightforward master trick that you could do with a glowing ball. Goes great with an Easter basket, just like just like this one. I know how this master trick is done. And there you go. All seven tricks within part one. Part two will be our last set of eight. But now, I must be off and I'll see you for our part two. Mr. Lee. Grace, peace, wishing you all a happy, rest, blessed of your April spring. Love you. Now, that's tie-dye shirt this window.